Hello and welcome. Uh, Tax TV, you got young Ayrton and or Ayrts as we call him and Caleb. So again, we're going into a new season. So coming to you, Ayrts, uh, pre season, bit mixed match, new players, new manager. Who do you think's been, you know, assigning what we're going to look forward to this season, mate? Um, don't really know, to be fair. Hmm. Got some players that have come in and be got to be proven, up the kind of thing. You, you know, we've got like Max Waters. Are you happy seeing Max Waters come back to the club? Um, a bit, yeah. Yeah. Would you prefer uh, Tedic come back? Would you like yeah. Tedic? Yeah, yeah, you, you prefer yeah. Tedic. Uh, Caleb, just following on from that, then just running about players, you know, new goalkeeper, new manager, you know, some players come in, defenders and stuff like that. And you look up front, we've signed two players, Andy Dallas and um, Max Waters. Any players there that you like, you know, would you like to see Tedic arrive back at club? Caleb? I think he's froze. Yeah, must have froze, Caleb. So I'll, we'll wait for him to come back. Yeah, he's froze. Uh, so, yeah, hey, so, I mean, for me, I'm glad that Luke O'Connell stayed at club, uh, signed a longer contract, and is he going to be? Do you think he's going to be a key player for us this season? Yeah. 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 Do you think he's going to step up and score a few more goals? Um, I think he'll assist more than he'll score, but he'll score a few. All right, yeah. I mean, looking at the pre-season game at home against Crew, uh, Luke O'Connell wanting apparently we're just like resting, a bit of an eagle. But some at corners we're taking last season, I think that's going to be key as well. Corners and free kicks because he's got a decent strike on him, hasn't he? Yeah. Do you think that obviously we're going to be missing Adam Phillips for like a couple of games? I think three games at the beginning of the season. Do you think we're going to really miss him? Or, you know, we saw Callum Styles come in and he seemed to have a decent game, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I, th I don't think we'll miss him if we've got Callum Styles and Luke Connor in the middle. Hmm. So, yeah. Competition there, isn't there? You know, you just touched on yeah. there, like Callum Styles, Herbie Kane. You know, Matt, I saw Matty Wolf on stage as well, uh, at, well, at Open Day. So, again, you've got kind of players coming back there. Um for me, I'd still like to strengthen up in defence, uh, another central defender. I know we've got some players in, what's been brought in, but I think, my opinion, I think it might be a bit of a test for them. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are about. Would you like to see any more players come come to the club? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What what areas would you be looking to strengthen in? Defence or...? Yeah, defence. Yeah, central defence. Um I think goalkeepers more or less sorted out. Obviously, Brad Collins went. Harry Ice did want to play. It, it, it like moves elsewhere. So I think goalkeeper situation, I can't see doing out elsewhere. Defense, I agree with you. I think we could strengthen a bit more in uh, defense. Midfield, I think we've got a pretty strong midfield. And up front, <laughs> I think I could see some players either getting sold or going out on loan. I think. Yes. You know, we seem to have like a lot of strikers like now up front. Um, would you would you be surprised if we sell any more players? Ex? Um, no, not really. No, if you if you want manager like now, uh, looking at side, is there any player that you think mm, I could loan him out or could sell him to free a bit of money up? Is there anybody? I I think one player that could go out on loan or. Not sell, but I think go out on loan and be probably Ollie Shaw. I think just to get a bit of confidence. I don't know what your thoughts on that is. Uh, yeah, Ollie Shaw might be one as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Larry Zecca has been unfortunate. He's never really hit ground running. Ollie Shaw, I think he needs some confidence, some game time. I think if no was still here, which he, it's looking back way, but I think if Norwood is still here at club, I think it could be Norwood and probably Waters start up front. You've got Andy Della, so you've got competition. You've got Devante Cole as well, who started. So we seem to have a we're pretty strong in that area, don't we, Ertz? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, going to the Port Vale game, I mean, first game at home, 
Uh, always nice to have a known fixture to get uh, things going. I you... Uh, are you confident to win or are you expecting a win? Is it going to be a tricky tie, do you think? Is it going to be a tricky game as in first game of the season? Play still might be learning kind of thing. I think it'll be tricky because it is first game of the season. I think they'll, like, they'll be learning that. Mm. Like, and new like transfers might not like understand it a bit, like, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, managers still learning, uh, understanding the players. Players understanding and learning uh, the managers as well. So, yeah, I know what you mean on that one. Um, and again, it's similar, if not the same formation we seem to have been playing last season. So, I think that'll be uh, an easier transition for him. The pace, I, I think the only thing for me with uh, Neil Collins and some of the players, probably some of the players, if I'm being fair, is that it's like a long season, there's like high press and high tempo. It could be, I'm hoping that we don't pick up any injuries early doors with Adam Phillips missing. Are you kind of thinking, yeah, but no injuries, just get, you know, a couple of, a couple of wins under his belt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Port Vale, um, no disrespect to Port Vale, but they're kind of a tricky side, you know, uh, we played them away, they are tricky. But a game at home, I'd like to think that it's a game which it's a winnable game. I don't know if you agree with that. Do you think it's a winnable game for Barnsley? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think yeah. there'll be do you think there'll be many goals in it, Ertz? Yeah. Um, yeah, quite a few. Okay, quite a few. Yeah. Um uh, again, I think key player for me, um uh, and again, we're still on the side who's or captain would be, so this is a good one for you. Rome was impressed that it was going to be a choice between uh, Kitchen and Luca Connell uh, for captain. Obviously, with Mad Anderson leaving. If you were manager, you know, if you were the boss, who would you give a captain's armband to uh, this moment? Luca Connell. Luca Connell. Any yeah. particular reason in that, or is it is it a good play? Is it just you know? Do you see something in him where he could be a captain and that? Is it? Uh, yeah, I think he could be captain. Because he's like Barnsley's best player, so mm. yeah. I, I know Phil, Ki uh, Phil Kitchen, Liam Kitchen, um, Ed, the captain's armband last season in stepping him, but I think, and I get you on this, Luca Connell. What I've seen him in his first season, he seems to be wanting the ball a lot. When he's been in midfield, he seems to be dictating play, and I can see him being a decent captain. Um, I'd go for Luke Connell as well. Uh, on just what you said, the best player. He seems to be very hungry for the ball. And it's no disrespect to Lynn Kitchen. So if Luke Connell was the captain, is my club captain, you know, if Luke Connell were out for any reason, I then would give you that armband to Liam Kitchen. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah. 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 A lot of people say Norwood, and and I, I get why we, we Norwood. I like him as a player, but I just. I think a captain's better in midfield or in defence because we can see the play, we can understand it, kind of thing, dictate it. So we've agreed on that. We, you know, we've gone for Luke Connell for the captain. Um, and again, so he's got the captain's armband. Who do you think will be our most important player come part of I mean, I know Luke Connell's been out, um, not played uh, pre season, many, in pre, much in pre season, sorry. So if Luke Connell does play, you know, and you've, you've seen the, the players, who do you think will be our most important player? Um, It'll be Luke Connell or Callum Styles. Oh, good shout. So, you 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 would start Callum Styles in, at Port Bell then, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think having watched the crew game, I think the start 11 there will be more or less the, the team that starts yeah. against Port Bell, so I'll get you on that. Um, for me, I'm gonna say, hmm, it's an hard, it's an hard call. This, um, because I'd have probably last season, I'd have probably said Mads Anderson, you know what I mean? Um, if Luca Connell starts, I think it's he'll be an important player because it'd be interesting to see if he does get captain's armband. Callum Styles again, a good, good shout, a uh, good game. I'm going, I'm going James Norwood. Uh, I think Wild be is an important player. 
on the day. You like to think everybody's going to be an important player, but you know, it's going to score goals all being well. So, uh, which kind of comes into kind of score goals. I'm going on the score prediction. I'm going to say 3 1 Barnsley. Uh, yeah, 3 1 Barnsley. What are you going yeah. for, it? 4-1 Barnsley. You're going 4-1 Barnsley. Yeah. yeah, well, you just said we're going to be some goals in it. So, I like it to be 3-0 or 4-0. Obviously, a clean sheet. But I think there's goals in it. I uh, like what you said via first game of the season, first couple of games of the season. is always a bit dodgy because you never know what side, what players are going to be playing well for the, the new side. Even Port Vale will have some uh, star players as well. So, we both agreed on Luke Connell being captain. We both agreed on a balance of the win. S has gone for one goal more than me. He's gone for four one. I've gone for three one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let's hope we can start off to a you know new season with a winner's belt. A uh, long hard season, but we've got a few more games in front. Um, and people, what's watching? Let us know your comments and thoughts. So, would you be captain? You know, score prediction. Or do you think it, what, what, what's it going to be? Influential player. And again, there's a lot of comments and debates to be had. Uh, we were going to finish in, you know, in league. Um, I'm going to say, at this moment in time, I'm going to say we'll go. We'll be finishing fifth. So I don't know what your what you were going to be calling it. Uh, so what? What? Where do you think Barnes will finish? Uh, third. Third. Yeah. Okay. I'll take that all day long. So we're both going for playoff spots. Uh, get to end of the season, and we'll see how far we we're off. I'll be well, we've gone up first and, you know, it's like you'll be winning anyway because you'll be in front of me. So, uh, so I've said fifth, you've said third. Uh, so every, please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you. Unfortunately, Caelan lost uh, internet service, but it's been me and Ertz on today. We'll get Caelan back on again soon. I might have a uh, talk about the game after. But Ertz, thanks for your time, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, everybody for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a safe journey when you're going to Port Vale. All being well, weather gets better because it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Uh, but, you know, it'll get grass a bit of water on pitch. So, near mind, that's what we need. So, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>